Remember the unwanted black swan amongst the white swans in Bruges last summer? Dimitri knows exactly why it had to go without question. Find out why Bruges has got Lankal swans and Antwerp has got a port. Want to see a medieval city in Flanders? Come to Bruges. But is this really a medieval city? It has some medieval buildings, but a lot has been restored or rebuilt in the 19th century for the sake of romanticism and nostalgia. And this particular story takes us right back to that medieval golden age of Bruges. In the 15th century, our regions were booming with trade and culture, and Bruges was at the core of this wealth. Now, in this time, our regions were ruled by the Dukes of Burgundy, Charles the Bold, for instance. He got into a conflict with the French king, Louis XI, and he died on the battlefield. His younger daughter, Mary of Burgundy, had to take over power. She was young and inexperienced, so the cities, Bruges and Ghent, took advantage of this and got great powers of autonomy from her. But unfortunately, she fell from her horse and died. So her husband took over power, Maximilian of Habsburg, ruler of Austria. And you know, new boss, new laws. Maximilian immediately raised taxes for the Flemish cities. Bad call to make. The people of Bruges responded in a way the Holy Roman Emperor wasn't expecting at all. Upon his arrival in Bruges, they arrested him and threw him in prison. But of course, Maximilian didn't come to Bruges on his own. His assistant, Peter Longneck, had been enforcing his laws for him. And this guy had made quite a reputation for himself. He couldn't walk the streets of Bruges without a bodyguard to avoid harassment. So, when Maximilian was imprisoned, it didn't take them long to capture Peter Longneck too. And then they gave a clear signal to Maximilian. They decapitated Peter Longneck right here, in plain sight of Maximilian. Now, of course, Maximilian agreed to all Bruges' demands and was ready to sign everything they wanted him to sign. And so he was released. But humiliation can be too much. So Maximilian returned with more firepower and he stripped the city of its court, its governmental functions, and even its city walls. He obliged them to keep 52 long necks or swans alive on the waterways of Bruges as a remembrance of his friend, Peter Longneck. He supposedly said, if you close the gates of this damned city, you get a house of fools. And this is why the typical beer of Bruges is called Brugse Sot, Fool of Bruges. So, cheers and thanks, Maximilian. Now, what is true about this story? Well, the citizens of Bruges really did revolt and capture Maximilian. And Peter Lankhals was really put to death. And the revenge of Maximilian is also very real. But punishing a city by letting them keep pets, swans... Actually, Maximilian had far worse in mind. He took away the city's most important right, the possibility to trade. And so the medieval splendor of Bruges was lost. And on the horizon was the rise of yet another city, Antwerp. One man's loss is another man's gain.